not actually morning it is two o'clock in the afternoon on Sunday today is the 21st of July <sighs> the last two days as y'all saw was a complete whirlwind complete whirlwind um, yeah I got some new nails and I'm sure I just completely ruined them with tint um, I got some press-ons um, from BT Art BT Art Box on Amazon. I'll put the link in the bio. Um, I don't know if I like the shape very much. It's giving, you know, old lady um, almond nails. I wanted short stilettos, but they don't make short stilettos. And mind you, I don't mind the almond shape, but I find that these are a bit wide so I think the next application I'm just I'm gonna really file them uh, on the sides before applying them I'm gonna give them a good file on the sides before applying them to make them a bit narrower and then I think I'll I'll be more in love with them because um, I, I actually like this thumb is the most perfect fit um, but I could still go in a little bit more on the sides. But anyway, Friday and Saturday were a complete whirlwind. Um, as I've said a few times before, I am learning to do um, spray tan for bodybuilders. I met um, an amazing woman named Heather Thomas, and she has been in the bodybuilding industry for um, many, many years and transitioned into tanning. Um, after her career, after she retired from bodybuilding. Um, so it, I met her through another fitness person that is a makeup client of mine. So I've done her makeup for, um, I did her makeup for one show and she won that show. So she has kept me on as a makeup artist for like her photo shoots and things like that. I mentioned to her during one of our sessions that I was really really interested in learning to spray tan that was one of the things that I was researching on how to do because I was thinking about adding it to my menu and she's like oh you know I'd spray tan on the side um, but I do it for bodybuilders and fitness people and I was like really um, she said it's a little bit different but the you know the motions and the application is pretty much the same uh, as like regular spray tanning so I said I would love to learn um, but it's super expensive to take these classes um, they you know they want you to buy thousands of dollars worth of equipment in order to take the class or they want you to pay thousands of dollars in order to take the class and she was like let me talk to the lady that I work with and see if maybe you know we can get you to be another hand on deck so um, I said, great, you know, whatever you can. And then I let it, you know, this was a while ago. And I had, you know, said, oh, you know, maybe she forgotten. No, she didn't forget. I received the phone call. Uh, she, she texted me and said, Heather would like your phone number. Um, can I give it to her? And I said, absolutely, sure can. So she gave her my information. I'm just going to adjust the camera a little bit. She gave her my information and I received a text message and that was when I did the two ladies in jerseys hair and makeup where the lights went out in the hotel. Um, if you remember from uh, a previous vlog, when the lights went out in the hotel and I met her there. She was amazing and when, of course, when she came out of the bathroom and I saw that she was black, I was even more excited because obviously I would love to be involved in a black owned business like that. Since I'm a black owned business, of course, I want to be able to help out another black owned business as well. 
um, especially someone who has, from what I've been told by everyone, has an amazing reputation, not just in the tanning, um, in that tanning industry, but in fitness and bodybuilding as well. I am, uh, so then she called me and said, hey, you know, I have another show coming up, which was what I did this past weekend, Friday and Saturday, and I would like for you to come and learn and I went to go and learn for the free 99. I literally was thrown, literally thrown right into the fire. Here's the, the I'm gonna show you a couple of times, then she will show you a couple of times and then you're gonna get in and do it. And uh, I got in and I did it. And I am now considered pro tan certified because I've gone through uh, some training and I'm super excited it was a really really great experience um, Heather made it super easy um, I could ask her any questions every time I did something I was able to ask her is it okay did I miss anything and she would go ahead if I missed anything show me teach me say hey this is how you do it if you really need to get in there you did do this do that um, I mean then of course once the show got started there were moments where it was like no 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 but she was never mean or rude. She taught you. And then she also explained, you know, when we start getting into shows that are much bigger, um, you're going to have to learn to be faster and speed up, etc., etc. So, I understood. But this particular show was a great show to be able to at least cut my teeth on handling the spray, um, figuring out my pattern and how I want to move, trying to fix any mistakes, um, seeing uh, what skin takes tan easy, what skin sometimes may not take tan easy and how to fix those issues. And then um, also what happens backstage as far as like oil and touch-ups and things like that and how the show runs um it was a really really great great experience of course obviously y'all saw some of the not great parts <laughs> as well uh, but all in all i had a wonderful wonderful experience and i'm super happy that i was able to uh get this opportunity and i'm not going to let it go to waste i'm going to learn everything that i need to learn and um, keep going. And I'm going to see what I can do about adding spray tan to my menu to be able to you know, earn some more dollars. Maybe get black people into spray tanning. It makes your skin look really good, it covers stretch marks, all of that. Um, I believe Jackie Ina, she doesn't spray tan, but she does self tan. Uh, yeah, and she always talks about how much she loves it. So, uh, yeah, it was a good time, but I am exhausted. I did not get home yesterday until about nine o'clock in the evening, but I was going on uh, maybe an hour of sleep because I didn't get much sleep at that hotel and I had to get up at four to be ready to take our first hair and makeup people at five and I had gotten into the hotel I think like 11 30 12 and then by the time I ate showered and everything it was already like one I didn't get any sleep so um yeah all right well I'm about to get some lunch uh rest myself a little bit supposed to have a sorority meeting today uh, I'm not sure what the hell is gonna happen I um, I'm exhausted <laughs> I'm exhausted I'm gonna go eat <laughs> see y'all in a bit now so because I hate when people eat and vlog but here I am eating and vlogging I just saw an email from 
the um, Human Rights Campaign, the steering committee, saying that Joe Biden just dropped out of the race. But he's endorsing Kamala Harris. The DNC is next month, the end of next month. Let's see who's going to get nominated. I hope it's her. She'll get my vote, obviously. But we'll see what happens. I know she'll definitely get however many AKAs that's out there. <laughs> MKs is loyal, honey. Uh, yeah. Well, we shall see what's about to pop off. I know Trump is probably doing a little dance, but one thing I will say, the debates are going to be good. The, 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 the debates are going to be good. If he decides to debate her, the debates are going to be good. Alright, see ya. Morning. Oh, I have to empty out my card. So, yesterday was a day. <laughs> Super exhausted. Very, very tired. Um, and then, okay, actually, let's, good morning. <laughs> it's Monday, July 22nd. It's 10.58 in the morning. I've been up for about half an hour. Um, let the dog out. And then uh, I got up and did my usual morning routine. I'm um, super excited that uh, everybody's endorsing Kamala Harris for president. I'm excited and scared at the same time. Um, black folks are going to have to get it together and come together because <clears throat> when she becomes president, because I'm not saying if, when she becomes president. <laughs> Uh, it's gonna be a problem yeah so because not only is she a woman she's a woman of color and who knows who her running mate is gonna be but anyway um, I am awake barely Yesterday, uh, I didn't film much after I finished work because I was just so tired. Um, it was when Ashley came to pick me up. Uh, we went right to the supermarket and picked up a few things. You know how much I love the supermarket. <laughs> um, and by the time we left the supermarket, it was about 7.30 because I didn't finish work until 6.30. And yeah, so it was about 7.30 by the time we got home. Hello, Shenanigans Jr. And uh, hello, my darling. Hello, sweet baby boy. Yeah, good morning. Um, it was about 7.30 and my meeting was at 8 so I had to take, oh my goodness, I had to take my meeting um, in the car and I am the secretary so I had to write notes and everything in a moving car. Um, but it was a good meeting and then we came in. Um, Sorry, the dog's knocking the table. Um, we came in and we ate, watched TV, and Ashley was so tired um, that she kind of, she had a headache. So she kind of just passed out. And then um, I passed out right behind her because I was extra tired as well. So, uh, yeah, that was yesterday. <laughs> I didn't even film any of the brows I did. It was just a really, really long day. I was so tired from that weekend. But um, today, I have some work I have to do, so I have to type up 
my minutes from the sorority meeting. I have to do another save the date for Atlanta Pride. I have to take this one out for a walk. I know. And I have, mommy has to, yeah, I have to do some work first though, okay? I know. Hey, don't, don't. You're not gonna go if you act a fool. Uh-uh, sit down. Sit down, Ted. Sorry, y'all. He wants to go outside for a walk. Um, which means he really has to go to the bathroom. So, uh, yeah, that was the whole weekend. It was crazy, and I'm super tired. So today, like I said, I have to do my minutes. I have to do some other paperwork, and I have to do a new save the date. So uh, that's going to be some camp work, which means I'm going to be staring at a computer all day today. Not my favorite way to have a Monday because usually on Mondays is when I relax uh, and then save the work for Tuesday and Wednesday but then my in-laws are also coming I believe this week which means I'm gonna have to clean the house so yeah see you guys in a bit hey y'all hold on let me pause this <sighs> yeah as you can see where I am, I'm laying down, me and the puppy. Um, I had started my cycle over the weekend, which was beautiful, of course. Um, so now, you know, the next couple of days are going to be absolute hell. Um, the pillows we got at Target are awesome. And the, the sheets as well look really good, along with our blue, like, comforter that we have. Uh, I just finished talking to the wife. She's on her way home. So me and the puppy had just decided to lay down. Uh, I did get, I renewed my waxing license, thank God. Um, I had actually cha had to change the name on it. So I renewed it, changed my name, and then I finished creating two more save the date flyers for Pride, for my sorority. And then I, you know, the dog came over, he wanted to cuddle, so we're in the bed now. Uh, when I get back up, I have to finish a couple of more sorority things. And then, I think we're gonna have pizza tonight for dinner because I um, actually accidentally put the, the ground beef in the freezer instead of the refrigerator. So tonight is pizza. Um, I'm gonna cook Teddy's food when I get up. She's gonna take him out for a walk. Um, today has been a pretty quiet day, boring day. Really, it should happen in another minute, pop him off. Tired. The next couple of days are gonna be crazy busy again. Uh, I gotta go back into work early on Wednesday, well not early on Wednesday, but on Wednesday for one client because it's her bachelorette coming up and she wants her eyebrows done and her wedding is coming up soon so I told her I would come in for her on Wednesday and that's going to be later on in the afternoon. Uh, then I believe on Friday is another tanning day, Saturday is another work day. Um, my in-laws, I believe, are coming in on Thursday. I think it's just my mother and father-in-law. And then I think we're supposed to be going over to uh, my brother-in-law girlfriend's house, or auntie's house, one of the houses, to celebrate my father-in-law's birthday. So that should be fun. Uh, we'll go ahead and vlog some of that I think my sister-in-law was supposed to come up with the kids but it proved to be a little bit too much for her work schedule and the kids like um, uh, extracurricular activities because you know my nephew is playing football and my niece is now doing a cheerleading and then my older niece she's I think 18 going on 19 so she could carry the way <laughs> she just graduated high school somewhere than like she just wants to be on the at home and, and chill with her friends and stuff so uh, 
but yeah, I think that's really going to be it. So stay tuned for the rest of the weekend. I'm not sure when I'm going to pick the camera back up. It might be in a day, it might be later on tonight, it might be, might not be until Friday. So we shall see. All right, see you guys. Hello, hello, hello. It's another day. It's another day. <laughs> I don't know who that was. Um, it's Wednesday, July 24th. It's about 2.30 in the afternoon and it's Wednesday and I'm actually in the salon. Uh, I only came in today because I had a client who is going to her bachelorette party and she's leaving tomorrow. So I decided to come in just for her. Uh, she is the daughter of one of my regulars. Uh, she is also a regular client. She doesn't come as often as she should, and I keep telling her that. She has some of the most beautiful eyebrows I have ever worked on. They are so thick, so fluffy, but unfortunately she went somewhere uh, prior to uh, coming to me. Prior to her uh, deciding to come to me and let me uh, fix them she went somewhere and they were pretty much like everyone who's come to me off kilter uh, that is one of the main things that I do which is fix off kilter eyebrows uh, usually I tell people it takes about a year of seeing me before we can get your brows to where you would like for them to be which is some regrowth and uh, a balanced shape according to your face uh, it has taken me quite a number of years to be able to do it when I started off I was horrible <laughs> mm, terrible um, I'm actually gonna make a video about my journey uh, through waxing and uh, makeup and stuff like that. I think I'm gonna do a nice video about that journey. But uh, yeah, so she decided to, I decided to let her come in on Wednesday, which is today, and I'll take care of her brows. And I was able to reshape them because I haven't seen her in a while, and maybe about a, like two months or so. And like I said, she has very thick, full eyebrows, so they completely grew back in, and I had to go ahead and fix them again, um, and tint them and everything so that she'd have perfect eyebrows for her batch. I wish I had filmed them, but uh, I really didn't want to disturb her. She's super tired. She's planning a wedding, obviously. Her wedding is next week, and uh, she's going to be coming back the day before she has to go to the hotel so I booked her in for a Tuesday afternoon so that I can freshen the brows up, retint them, you know, re reshape, replug so it will be ready for her makeup artist uh, for her wedding day. So um, I'm just giving the wife uh, some time. She's taking care of some errands and stuff and then she'll be on her way to come and pick me up. I figured I would check in with my house guests and see how you all are doing yes that's y'all new name y'all new name is how you're, you're my house guests uh, i'm letting you into the house of pink so yes you are my house guests um uh, yeah so i'm just chilling in the shop waiting for uh, shenanigans to come and pick me up and then yes i am tired and then we are going to have a Taco Bell date, which should be fun. Um, we love a little Taco Bell time because that's like a little time to sit in the car and just chill and chit chat and, and review some things that are going to be happening. Like I said before, my in-laws are coming uh, tomorrow and we have to finish cleaning up the house. Uh, one of the things that she's doing right now is getting started on her side of the bedroom. Uh, which really needed to get tidied. Uh, yesterday I did most of my side and uh, washed the uh, couch covers, you know, from the dog hair and other dog stuff <laughs> that usually falls on it. I did sweep up all of the hair, which I'm going to have to sweep up again anyway because I pretty much sweep up uh, dog hair pretty much every day every other day 
and then mop the floors, clean the bathrooms, uh, finish tidying up the kitchen. Uh, usually, when I deep clean the kitchen, that means I have to scrub out the stove again and um, disinfect the drain board. As you know, water sometimes gets a little stagnant in there, so you have to disinfect the drain board. And, you know, just wipe the counters down. She was able to move our plastic bottles downstairs to the basement to give me room to get around to finish cleaning up that area. And there's, uh, we have a big ass bag of rice that I have to dump into our container. So I have to clean that out and then tackle our linen closet as well. I have been wanting to get my hands on this linen closet for the longest time because, you know, a lot of that shit's getting thrown away. Um, for those of you who don't know, I have moved in with my wife and her family obviously when she and I got together and then her father um, moved to Virginia to be with her mother her mother had moved to Virginia to take care of her father who had gotten very sick he had a stroke etc etc so um, once pop retired uh, he moved to Virginia to be with her so um, there's a lot of old things in the house that need to be thrown away and yeah I'm going to get to throwing. So, yeah, I'm going to hit that linen closet and start to throwing. <laughs> and also to make sure that they have uh, clean sheets and pillows and towels, etc. when they get here. Um, yeah. So today's going to be a pretty full day, just of mostly cleaning. Um, you know, you, yeah, you guys are going to get to see shenanigans a little later when she comes to get me. But this weekend is, I have a full day of waxing on Saturday. Um, my sister and some other friends are coming to get wax on Saturday. I'm not sure if I'm going to be doing some tanning on Friday. Uh, I don't know if it makes sense for me to go since it's going to be all the way in Jersey and I'm only going for one day and it's only to do base tanning. I don't know if I want that long day. I'm not sure. I may have to just text Heather and tell her, you know, don't worry about the 26th. I'll just come for the other couple of days. Um, what else is happening for the rest of the weekend? Oh yeah, we're supposed to be celebrating Pop's birthday. So right after I finish waxing my sister and the others, I'm gonna have to go straight home and possibly head out to Long Island. Oh, why? Oh, oh, I'm hungry. I'm hungry, that's why. Um, and head out to Long Island for that. I may bake a cake for Pop. I don't know if my mother-in-law is going to do so, but more than likely I'm going to do it. Um, nothing too crazy big, just, you know, usual. Uh, I don't think I've, you've seen my cakes. You've seen my cupcakes, but not my cakes. So um, I'm going to go ahead and do that possibly. Thursday and Friday so that it's ready for Saturday yeah and I think that's really gonna be it I want to redo these nails better I really like them but um, I have to make them thinner for the application because I have really small nail beds so that that's another thing I'm gonna do uh, yeah, there really isn't much going on this week. This week was kind of good. <laughs> really, you guys shit popping off. Um, you know, the next couple of weeks is just really going to be a lot of work. A lot, a lot of work and preparations for uh, Atlanta Pride. I do have to take some photos. I have, I have, I was supposed to have taken these photos months ago uh, for HRC I was sent some uh, merchandise that I needed to take some pictures and oh and there's the wife now see you guys in a bit <laughs> so of course the phone call was extremely entertaining because our dog <laughs> so like I said we're cleaning and um, my wife sometimes practices on the drums but, uh, she has uh, two drum sets in the basement and, uh, you know, at times when she's feeling a little frustrated, she'll go downstairs and pound it out down there. But she kept, she keeps the drumsticks, she kept some of the drumsticks upstairs. So, of course, obviously, I want everything that goes downstairs to stay downstairs. So I was like, all right, baby, you got to move the drumsticks and stuff out of the corner 
of the room uh, and so she went to uh, move the drumsticks and Teddy got in the way of the basement door because he likes to run down the basement stairs the minute somebody opens them up. Apparently she must have uh, moved him out of the way and dropped one and he, by the time she got back upstairs that drumstick was chewed up into pieces baby. So of course you know that helicopter mom because that's what I like to call her when it comes to Teddy. Helicopter mom is freaking out. Oh my god he chewed up the drumsticks and I was like well if you found the pieces uh, then he'll be okay. <laughs> <laughs> Let's just keep an eye on him, make sure that there's no lethargy or blood or anything like that coming up. But he should be fine. I mean, this is a dog who literally swallowed a child's ball <laughs> and then shit it out <laughs> about three months later. <laughs> oh no, he threw it up. He threw it up about three months later. Um, yeah, so this is my life, but she's on her way, so I'm going to pack up my shit and uh, get ready to get out of here. And you'll see shenanigans freak out a little bit uh, in the car. <laughs> Without you paving the way, this would be chit chatter. Yo, yo, I could bust a rap that's fat that blows like a hurricane. G, so don't miss my melody. I'm the queen pin in my suit with my hat, my idea. Oh, great, which I'm only love gives me that me an X Factor. Track of the all female rappers, easy, even if they were a disaster. I respect you as I swear, I probably. I swear, I feel like I start every video with that face. <laughs> I'm so sick of it. <laughs> Man, it has been. Okay, hi. <laughs> it is. Uh... What the hell is today? I don't even know what today is. Saturday, July 27th. It's 12.30. Uh, I am at the shop, as you can see. I haven't filmed in like two days. Really hasn't been much going on. Uh, cleaned my entire bedroom. Finally. Like, literally just went through everything. And uh, on my wife's side of the room, of course. <laughs> and just had to be like, throw it away, throw it away, throw it away, throw it away, <laughs> throw it away. Um, yeah, to prepare for my in-laws coming. Um, and also just, it needed to be done. I just, I was just sick of it. Both of us were just sick of it. Um, so yeah, in-laws came Thursday night. Yeah, Thursday night. Um, so it was my mother-in-law, my father-in-law, and my little niece and nephew uh, came up because we are having a celebration for my father-in-law's birthday. Um, he does not know that uh, Charlie Brown, who's my brother-in-law, his girlfriend's family is making a very big deal out of this. Uh, so they've got a whole spiel plan and he has no idea. Um, I spent last night making his cake. <sighs> That's why my face looks like this right now. <laughs> um, <clears throat> so I decided on a double barrel cake, which obviously you will see um, when it's finished. A double barrel cake is a long cake, uh, narrow. Everything went great. Cakes baked up perf perfectly. Buttercream was perfect. Fondant, yes, I make my own fondant. You know, I wear many hats. <laughs> my mother, rest her soul, was an amazing baker and I kind of got the bug. Um, so I try to do, you know, a lot of things and watch a lot of YouTubes and YouTube University, baby. So yes, I made my own fondant. Um, yeah, so cakes baked up perfectly, buttercream was perfect, fondant came out perfect and fast, right? Um, I put the cake together, it took me a little while because the house was hot and my kitchen is hot and I have only, yeah, like I said, old house, one AC, 
and a dog so I obviously had to scrub everything down close my kitchen door thank goodness I actually have a kitchen door uh, and keep him out of the kitchen <sighs> but that means no AC so just ceiling fan window buttercream in a hot kitchen mm -hmm. <laughs> it's wonderful isn't it but I was able to get it together um, and get it in the fridge and that was the first of the dilemmas that happened I had to take out an entire shelf out of my fridge because the cake was so tall right um, it's literally three eight inch no three six inch cakes cut in half so that there's two cakes three layers each <sighs> it's nuts um yeah so I got all of that together mind you I was a little sad because because it was so warm the buttercream melted a little bit so the cake was doing a little bit of this <laughs> which is fine it's okay I'm gonna cover it in fondant now first dilemma was the uh, shelf right second dilemma I wanted to put edible images of my father-in-law um, around the cake so if you don't know you purchase this edible paper and a brand new printer that's never been used and then you use edible ink it's a special kind of ink and you can print photos prints cartoon characters all of that stuff and you can eat it so <laughs> I go to test my printer because you're supposed to test it every time if you have, especially if you haven't used it in a long time. First print came out perfect on a sheet of paper because I wasn't gonna waste my ink sheets because those things are not cheap. I go to put the ink sheet in, starts popping out of the printer, looking good. Second half, green. Green. So of course I had to Google, why is my edible ink printer uh, printing out green? Said, check your inks. They might be empty. I go and I check each individual ink. Every ink had, every cartridge had ink in it, except the fucking magenta. Now, doesn't that always happen? Even in regular printers, everything is fine except that stupid pink. And as much as I love pink, that pink does piss me off. <laughs> So I say, okay, fine, I'm not gonna panic. Amazon, went on Amazon. I typed in magenta edible ink and a few things popped up. I ordered magenta ink. What word was missing from there? Edible. <laughs> you just got a letter. Yeah. And when did I realize this? This morning. I got up this morning to check on the delivery because I also had to order another box because um, I didn't have a big enough box. I thought I had bigger boxes, but I don't. I got up this morning and said, let me take a look at this order just in case. Because something is telling me that this isn't right. I go on there, the box is on its way, wonderful. Especially because I had some issues with getting these press-ons overnight. I checked on the magenta, also on the way. But something said to me, Sasha, check that ink. Look at that ink and make sure. I click on the picture of the ink and realize that I ordered regular ink. Nowhere did it say edible. If the girl burst into tears, I burst into tears saying, why would they do that? If I type in magenta edible ink, why are you putting regular ink in the choices? Why are you mixing regular ink along with the edible ink choices? Sorry about my neighbors in there yapping. Why would you do that? I was in tears because I'm like, 
but of course because you know the Aquarius in me wipe the tears I have my little cry for like a you know a minute or two wipe the tears get on the phone there is this one place that I had ordered an edible image from years ago when I first started baking my very very first customer uh, it was a 20 21 year old and I'm gonna see if I can insert the picture a 21 year old she was having her 21st birthday and she wanted two cakes and it ended up being one she wanted a large sheet cake with a uh, driver's license picture on it and I ordered the printer and they sent me the wrong printer so I found this really great place um, I'm also going to link them below if you are in the New York area um, they printed it up same day for me and I remembered where they were so I called immediately and was like hey are you still doing same day prints she said absolutely I sent it over paid for it and then the wife is gonna go pick it up Ciao. Mm, mm, mm. it has been a motherfucking day a day and the day hasn't even started yet and now I had to see if my sister and her friends can come a little bit earlier so that I can get out of here early to finish the fucking cake because I could have finished it yesterday if my printer had pink. I'm just <laughs> it <laughs> boy <laughs> what the fucking day what a day it has been what a rassle day so I'm about to head to Dunkin Donuts get me my breakfast um, I have to design his banner for the cake and his numbers for the cake as well um, for the fondant and I'm just <laughs> child I have I have had enough of this day <laughs> e fucking enough of this day all right y'all See y'all in a bit. Brother shenanigans. <laughs> That's oh god. Ha <laughs> <laughs> ha